Welcome everyone to another episode of Smoke All the Foods here on Barino's World. Today I am going to be smoking something that I've wanted to smoke for a long, long time but just never had the energy to do it. I am going to be smoking the world famous barbecue fatty. Simply put, this is a log of beef wrapped around cheese, which itself is wrapped around a giant bacon weave. It's a fat person's paradise and it should be delicious. Okay, so the first part of the recipe calls for the bacon weave. Now this recipe requires 16 pieces of bacon. Unfortunately, I think this package, this one pound package of bacon only has 14 slices. So I will have to deal with it as best as I can. Okay, well, if that's not the worst bacon weave that you've ever seen in your life, I'd like to know what is. I must have gotten the wrong cuts of bacon that just kept falling apart, and this is all I can manage. It's better than nothing, plus I've got plenty of bacon left over, but I'm afraid to stretch it any further, otherwise it's just going to fall apart. If there are any barbecue wizards that are watching this video, tell me what kind of bacon I should get. But onward and upward, so let's make the beef log. Now let's see if I can't screw this up. The recipe called for one and a half pounds of beef inside which will be placed about two ounces of cheese but I like cheese so I'm gonna up it up to four that is if I can fit it all now given the disaster that was my bacon weave let's see what we can or can't do with the beef log surprisingly it's the same size as the bacon weave which I didn't screw that up but there's still room for failure so let's put the cheese and also, I think at this point, I called for some barbecue rub. I was going to make some of my hot buffalo rub, but I'm too lazy and don't have time. But I do, I believe, have some Weber barbecue rub that I'll put on here at this point. And in fact, here it is. I'm probably just going to dump the whole rest of this on here or until the inside of the log is nicely covered. And now to apply some shredded cheddar cheese. Now that the cheese has been applied, we shall now roll it and seal it to the best of our ability. And there we have it, one beef log stuffed with cheddar cheese. But we're not done with it yet. Now, here comes the moment of truth. Can I put this log onto this bacon weave without destroying one or the other? You know, I think maybe I can take two more of those slices and just lay them on top just to cheat a little bit. Not bad for a first timer that really doesn't have any clue what he's doing. Hopefully it tastes better than it looks. So let's start smoking. I'm smoking indoors this time since it's too cold outside, but it's in my garage, so no harm done. But anyway, the smoker has heated up to 250. So now let's plop our fatty in there and see if it succeeds all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, after finagling with the smoke loader for a little bit, looks like the chips are finally in there and it's starting to smoke. Now we wait. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half. I've changed my A tire and the not always accurate temperature probe says that the fatty is just above the right temperature, so let's pull it out and see how it turned out. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. Fat. There is fat dripping from this. They don't call us a fatty for no reason. Oh. Get a close up of that. I can't even lean it because the fat's still dripping everywhere. Oh my goodness. A cardiologist's worst nightmare. 
Let's try it. Okay, the fatty has cooled down a little bit and had a chance to drain itself from the gratuitous amount of grease and fat. So now let's cut this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh geez, I'm pushing down and the cheese is starting to ooze out a little bit. So maybe it is just right. Oh, take a look at that. If that's not disgustingly awesome, I want to know what is. But I also want to eat it. Okay, I'm not sure how to eat this wonderfully, potentially delicious and probably delicious and probably unhealthy fatty. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to eat this fatty. I mean, a lot of people have suggested that uh, just you slice it and put it in between some burger buns, but I really don't want to do that. I want to get the full flavor of the fatty as is. I'm tempted to just eat it by hand. Some of the bacon's starting to fall off. Yeah, I'm just going to... Eh, piece of bacon. Be damned. I'm just going to go for it. So, here we go. Barbecue smoked bacon fatty. Here we go. Never has bacon, meat, and cheese come together so beautifully. The meat's cooked perfectly. Bacon's not totally, not really crispy, but you know, I wasn't really expecting that, given that there was so much grease and fat on the outside. Well, the bacon did fall apart a little bit. It added just enough where it was great. Mmm. Unshockingly, that was the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Wow. It's dripping with fat. It'll probably clog my arteries faster than anything else you can ever eat, but you've got to try this at least once. Make this at least once. This might be the last time I ever make something like this, but you know what? Ooh, wow. Good lord. I can't say anything more than that. This is just a meat lover's wet dream. And on that awkward note, I want to say thank you for tuning into this episode of Smoke All the Foods here on Brian's World. Thank you all very much for watching. If you've got ideas for wacky things I can smoke on the show, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please do, because if you want to get to 100 subs, I will attempt the Carolina Reaper Chicken Wing Challenge, which will be complete hell compared to the heaven that is that. Once again, thanks for watching, and have yourself a good one.